friends, it's JJ, and this is Travel Tuesday with Today with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, we're going to Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta is a diverse city encompassing thriving art, sprawling nature preserves, and a role as a pivotal cog in the shaping of American history. Atlanta has long sat in the shadows of its more tourist recognized counterparts across the state borders like Orlando and New Orleans, but not anymore. No longer is Atlanta simply home to the world's busiest airport. The Georgian capital is reeling with attention that it now deserves. It welcomes millions of tourists each year who come in search of great food, unique attractions, professional sports, A-list entertainment, and world-class museums. History buffs, shopaholics, families, and night owls will all likely find something to pique their interest. If you need help navigating this beautiful city on your next trip, you've come to the right place. Here are my 10 amazing things to do in Atlanta, Georgia. Number one on the list is the Coca-Cola Museum. Did you know that Coca-Cola was invented in Atlanta? It was the brainchild of the morphine addicted pharmacist who wanted to kick the habit by inventing a painkiller. After much experimentation, Coca-Cola was born. In the company's birth city, wet your whistle with more than a hundred different Coca-Cola drinks from around the entire world, some of which will never be made into the mainstream shelves. You can also check out replica soda fountains, the Pop Culture Museum, 4D theater displays, and DIY bedroom fountain dispensing flavors from around the world. It's a fun place to go, and every time I've visited Atlanta, it's always been one of the spots that I love to visit. Number two on the list is Piedmont Park. As a busy, bustling city, Atlanta doesn't have a lot of green spaces, but Piedmont Park is an exception to the rule. It's a beautiful park located just outside of the gleaming skyscrapers and shopping malls of the greater Atlanta area. If you're a jogger, you can work up a sweat on the trails. Kids and families can rent bikes, have picnics, and depending on the day, there might be camps or classes hosted on the grass. Number three on the list is Zoo Atlanta. What sets Atlanta Zoo apart from other wildlife exhibits is their panda population. Zoo Atlanta is one of only three zoos in the United States housing giant pandas. But the zoo also boasts more than a thousand animals from more than 200 species. While here, you'll spot lions, giraffes, zebras, and plenty of reptiles. Apart from the animals, the zoo offers a train ride, a carousel, and ropes course, among other attractions. Now keep in mind, the cost of these activities is not included with the admission. Number four on the list is Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Park. You cannot talk about Atlanta without mentioning its significance to the civil rights movement and Martin Luther King Jr. His park celebrates his legacy with museums, monuments, archives, resource centers, and other important and informative places of interest regarding his life and his cause. The centerpiece of the park is the tomb of Dr. King and his wife. It's located on the center of a reflecting pool with an eternal flame burning nearby. You can also visit his childhood home and the church where he was ordained as a pastor. A rose garden blooms in his memory and the visitor center shares knowledge of his trials and tribulations during the civil rights movement. Number five on the list is the Ponce City Market. 
Ponce City Market is not really a market. It's a repurposed former Sears building and it's made into one of Atlanta's most exciting mixed-use developments. From the outside, it looks like one of the plain factory buildings of Atlanta. However, once you venture indoors, you'll have dozens of paths to have fun with on the property. You'll have to check it out for yourself to see what all the fuss is about. Number six on the list is Centennial Olympic Park. Located across the street from the College Football Hall of Fame in downtown Atlanta is Centennial Olympic Park. It's a 22 acre patch of land that features lush sections of grass, artwork, pools, and fountains. The park was originally built for the 1996 Olympic Games and was the centerpiece of the festivities. Now it's one of the most visited areas of the city. One of the park's most well-known elements is the Fountain of Rings. It's made up of 251 water jets. Every day, there are four shows choreographed to various songs. The park also hosts several special events each year. Number seven on the list is High Museum of Art. The High Museum of Art's aesthetics begin with the physical structure itself. The Richard Muir design building is covered in white porcelain that is mirrored on its interior, which also features winding walking paths and an interesting light system at the top. The Renzo piano design expansion features white aluminum panels that echo Muir's original facade as well as a roof that filters sunlight inside. One noteworthy part of the collection is the 19th and 20th century American art, including pieces by Mary Cassatt, John Singleton Copley, Frederick Kinsett, Harriet Hausmer, and much more. The museum also houses an impressive collection of European works from the 1300s to the 1900s, and mass figurative sculptures, ceramics, and more from Africa and the African diaspora. Number eight on the list is Atlanta History Center. Spread across 33 acres in Atlanta's trendy Buckhead neighborhood, the Atlanta History Center seeks to explore Georgia's past through comprehensive exhibitions, historic homes, and miles of gardens and trails. The center's primary facility is the Atlanta History Museum, which showcases exhibits that span the region's history, from, from the culture of the Creek and Cherokee Indian ancestors to life in the antebellum South. Number nine on the list is the neighborhood of Buckhead. Buckhead is a swanky neighborhood that's just a short walk from downtown Atlanta. It has office buildings and high-rise hotels that tower over the streets, but its real appeal is located down below. It's a mecca for upscale shopping. Retailers include luxury brands for clothes, shoes, and jewelry. Businesses range from restaurants to trendy museums and art gallery. This place is a very chic atmosphere. It's almost something out of a movie. And if you're looking for something fun to do, check out the sights of Buckhead. It's always open so you don't have to worry about fitting it into your tight itinerary. Number 10 on the list is the Georgia Aquarium. Considered one of the world's largest aquariums, the Georgia Aquarium boasts more than 100,000 animals from 500 species, represented in seven different galleries. Housing everything from freshwater animals in its southern company River Scout Gallery to a humongous whale shark tank, which holds more than six million gallons in its Ocean Voyager Gallery, it's safe to say that the aquarium runs the gamut in terms of its marine life. 
In 2021, it added Sharks Predators of the Deep exhibition involving multiple shark species, such as hammerheads and tiger sharks, and a 20-foot tank holding 1.2 million gallons of water. This facility is popular, so expect crowds when you visit. Also be prepared to spend a considerable amount of time taking it all in. Yay, you have made it to the end of the video. I would love to know where you are watching from. I'm also going to leave you with this nugget on the best time to visit Atlanta. And the best time to visit is either in the spring or the fall. Both seasons experience mild temperatures and the days are typically perfect for exploring the city and the nearby Georgia countryside. And if I have missed anything in regards to what to see in Atlanta, Georgia, please do not forget to comment down below. It helps more than you know. And if you've made it this far and you're not a part of the family, go ahead and like, subscribe, and put your bell notification on to always so you know every time we travel the world. So have a fun, safe, and amazing time in one of my favorite cities, Atlanta, Georgia. And until next Tuesday, bye.